Absolutely. Now, speaking of beautiful, Colleen, we are all crossing our fingers for beautiful weather this week. And so far, yeah. I feel like it's been pretty good. I remember in years past, it's rained like every day. You know, I've been looking at the past 20 years of track conditions. It's really a hit or miss. One year it's sloppy, the other year it's fast. It's going to be a mix up this year. We have some rain for Oaks Day, but for Derby, it's expected to be dry. Let's talk about today, though. Champions Day. Temperatures are going to be getting into the mid 60s. Nice dry forecast. Plenty of sunshine. The only difference compared to yesterday is that wind. We're not going to be as bad, only gusting around 20 miles per hour, maybe 15 to 20, sustained around 5 to 10. So it will not be as bad. Uh, we're just under 30 minutes away from sunrise this morning. That wind still picking up out there. You can see the ripples on the river, but some beautiful colors lighting up over our horizon early this morning. Very exciting week that we have in store. Temperatures cooling off because we had some clouds overnight and those are actually clearing out. So we're cooling off right now. 646 at Louisville, uh, low 40s, getting into the 30s potentially here over the next 30 minutes over in Indiana. It does feel like the 30s in some spots because when we factor in that wind. So even though we'll be in the mid 60s today, plan for some temperatures feels like in the upper 50s and low 60s. So at the time we had towards 6 p.m. for the great steamboat race, still have some sunshine in that forecast. Temperatures will probably be dipping back into the low 60s at that time. So radar nice and clear. You can see those clouds are just clearing out of Campbellsville and Columbia right now. No chance of rain in that forecast. Temperatures will be getting into the low to mid 60s today. And then once we head towards tomorrow morning for your 30 forecast starting out chilly in the 30s and 40s and then we'll be breaking into the 70s tomorrow afternoon. So for your 30 forecast, I think it's actually a perfect setup for tomorrow. Now, once we head towards Friday, I increase those rain chances to 60% throughout the afternoon. We are expecting some scattered showers Friday afternoon through Friday evening. Now, the good news about Derby is the majority of that rain is going to be overnight expected to clear out by Saturday afternoon. So Oaks is definitely the day we are going to be focusing on for the timing of that rain. We have meteorologist Sam Gabrielli that's out at Churchill getting a nice, beautiful view of the track right now. Um, Sam, How's it looking right now? Rise and shine from Churchill Downs here, Colleen. It is turning out to be a really gorgeous morning so far. It's been chilly to downright cold, wind chill of around 40 degrees or so. But the nice thing is, as the sunrise is near, I've noticed that the wind's going to be tapering off a little bit, which is good news. Uh, today will be pretty nice, like you alluded to earlier, mid 60s. We're looking pretty good for Champions Day. But I want to talk about Thurby. This is the planner forecast. Let's say you're not going to be coming to Churchill Downs today, but maybe you'll be heading out tomorrow. Uh, we are looking pretty nice actually for Thurby. Arguably 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. Than today reaching the 70s in most areas and but one thing that we're going to be watching very closely is that chance for rain scattered showers and storms will work their way into our picture as we can take a look at future cast into the day on Friday, which unfortunately is just in time for Oaks race day. Uh, most of the rain on Oaks is probably going to be occurring late more so into the late afternoon heading into the evening hours and some of that rain might linger into Derby day itself. Now I do think for the Kentucky Derby race day we are generally going to be dry, but we'll be watching it pretty close mid 70s. In fact, reaching 75 for high temperature on Kentucky Derby, which if you ask me, we are in luck here across uh, Kentucky and when it comes to that overall forecast. 